Hi friends, uh, the next live session that we have is on 3rd of March. It's on 3rd of March, which is a Sunday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. The regular hours that we have our live sessions in. And the topic this time is very exciting and very close to my heart. So this is a question that a lot of our students have asked, which is what is big data? Why do we need big data and how big data is how all the techniques in big data or all the methods and all the tools in big data are related to machine learning and deep learning. So big data is a very hyped up term. It's a very hyped up term. People hear it every time and people uh, do not know what it means exactly or what tools fall under big data. They don't know why we need it and how some of these big data tools are actually used for applications in machine learning and deep learning. There are many applications of big data tools. But what we will do here in this live session is we will give you an introduction to big data for machine learning and deep learning applications. So we'll limit our applications mostly to machine learning and deep learning and we'll cover a breadth of big data tools and techniques and why we need them. We will go over very foundational concepts. We will go over the fundamentals. We will go over the fundamentals on why we need big data and things like that. So a few of the topics that we would like to cover is what is big data to start with? What is this term big data, which is because this is, a, this is a big umbrella term, right? There's a big umbrella term for a bunch of tools and techniques. So we will explain what big data is. Why do we need these new tools in big data, especially currently? And how did these tools evolve? How did many of the techniques and tools that are currently referred to as big data evolve over time in the last 20 to 30 years, right? Why, do, I mean, why was the need for them and how did they evolve? So we'll go over some historical perspective of all the tools. We'll also give you an idea of the landscape, what all tools are available and what are the choices that you have and when to pick which choice, right? Of course, we will touch upon some of the basic and the most widely used big data tools like Hadoop. We'll give you an overview of Hadoop. Again, this is a two hour session, so it will be impossible to go into any of these techniques or tools in full depth, right? So we will give you a 10,000 feet view. Think of it like this. We will give you a 10,000 feet view so that you know what tool is useful and why a tool is needed and where to use which tool. We will not go into each of these tools in depth because that's not possible in a two hour session. Probably we could do a future live sessions diving deep into some of these techniques. For example, when we go over Hadoop, I'll explain you a little bit about what is Hive, what is Pig, what is HDFS, if you don't know these terms, don't worry. I'll explain all of them in very simple terms during the live session. So again, what, what was the need for Spark? Why is everybody moving from Hadoops to Spark? What advantages does Spark give? Similarly, an overview of Spark, an overview of Spark SQL and Spark ML. Spark ML is probably one of the best tools here for big data based machine learning today, right? Again, we'll also touch upon distributed deep learning. So how do you perform deep learning when you have uh, when you have extremely large data sets, when you have extremely large data sets and we have lots of computational need, right? How do you do it when you have tens or even hundreds of uh, GPUs, right? So we'll touch upon all these topics. And after this discussion, we'll also go over design choices, which means which tool to pick when. So a design choice basically helps you understand which tool to pick when and why. Which tool to pick and why are you, why should you pick a tool here? Why, why do you even have to pick a big data tool? Why can't you just do with not using a big data tool, right? We'll give a brief overview of something called as a NoSQL databases. Again, I'll show you how NoSQL databases are used for machine learning and deep learning applications, especially when you're productionizing these models, especially when you're productionizing these models, right? Of course, we'll also touch upon how NoSQL databases are powerful for data pre-processing. They are very powerful for data pre-processing, right? So we'll touch upon some of these things. We'll also conclude the discussion with an overview of cloud computing because this is a term that is extensively used. So I'll give you a brief overview of what is cloud computing? How did this whole, uh, whole area of cloud computing evolve? What are the major choices that we have like Amazon's web services, Google's compute platform, Microsoft Azure, and how how we can actually leverage some of these tools or some of these cloud computing platforms along with big data tools. So, so we, I will try to mix all of them. So how do you, 
leverage cloud computing tools plus big data tools plus machine learning and deep learning applications how all of them fit together so i'll give you an overview of how everything fits together because there is a lot of confusion among students uh, on how these three things fit together how cloud how cloud and big data and machine learning and deep learning fit together a lot of people don't understand how they fit how each of them needs everything else right so we'll go over that uh, in, at the end of the discussion the prerequisites to understand this would be uh, we have already covered this we have covered sql and basics of databases in our course so knowledge of sql and databases would certainly help you understand what is happening in this live session better you would also i would also assume that you have some basic understanding if not a very deep understanding some basic understanding of machine learning and deep learning algorithms at least some of them if not all so this live session will be limited only to a registered students so this live session will be limited only to a registered students and this will be available via our desktop app right so this will be available via our desktop app if any of you have not set up your desktop app please reach out to us before the live session get the pin that you need to to access the to access the whole live session via the desktop app so just repeating itself please ensure that your desktop app is all set and ready to to go before the live session starts so that you do not miss any part of the live session itself so yeah we we uh, looking forward to the 3rd of march which is a sunday uh, to dive into this this is a very interesting topic and of course but let's let's be very frank and clear here i will not be able to dive deep i will not be able to dive deep into any topic we will give you overviews here we will give you overviews and basic design choices that we have right so yeah looking forward to it uh, hope most of you try and join this discussion and hope we have some great faqs also